Okay, this is now the five minute tarot for the 30th of July 2017. And today, this video is for you watching whenever you're watching. And it's ideally going to be a good video because five minutes from now, you're going to understand and appreciate that you are totally free and you're going to know how to remain free in spite of what your actual or what your current situation is. Because probably if you look at your life or look at what's going on in some areas, things are okay. In some, they're kind of okay. Um, you may have one or two areas where things are really good, but you can also have a, one or two problems or awkwardnesses or difficulties or problems with people, whatever it happens to be. And it's easy to think when things are bad or when things are going wrong that um, it's the world or it's the government or it's neighbours or it's there it, that you, you don't have much control over what actually happens in those particular areas. You're kind of on the receiving end. And I want to say that you're not because I, I read a while ago and I came across this note a couple of days ago and I don't remember where I got it from, but the idea is that current conditions that we experience are to some extent the result of past thinking. So it's our past thinking that produces or creates or results in current conditions. So yes, to some extent, it's other people, but it's also us. And the good thing is that it means that the future is under our control as well, but I'll get to that in a minute. So th this idea that past thinking results in current conditions, it, it's not saying that, let's say six months ago, you woke up one morning and you thought, yes, I'm going to, I, I want to have a, a, a life-threatening or medical condition. It's not that you have a single thought and it results in something a few months later. It's more, let, let's say you, you've got a problem with a person. I'll, I'll talk about it as an example. So let's say you've got, you separate from divorce, fall out with, fight with somebody, a person. So the idea is that the difficulty of the relationship to some extent is determined by your past thinking. And it's a bit like maybe six months ago, you were in a situation with the person where you could have been kind and forgiving. You could have been uh, relaxed about the situation, but you were angry, you were annoyed, you were fed up, you had had enough. So you wanted revenge. So six months ago, let's say there was a moment between you and this other person and your thinking then was, I hate you, or I'm going to get my revenge, or yeah, now you're going to be sorry, or something like that. So if at that moment, a few months ago, you inject difficulty or disharmony or hostility into the relationship, what, what are we doing? Where, where does it go? And what do we add to the relationship? And are we in some way planting the seeds of destruction by the way we thought? And I think it's that's the idea. The thoughts are seeds and they can be seeds of growth or seeds of destruction. And we choose what kind of seeds we plant. And if we go through our life or go through certain situations planting seeds of destruction, when it all falls apart, we have to, or we, we, we can pretend it, it's nothing to do with us and it, it was, it's all their fault. But really, when you get down to it, it's, it's, it's our fault. Or if we had thought differently, we would have been dealing with something different now. So if that's true, or to, to the extent that that's true, that our past thoughts and our past thinking creates or produces or results in current conditions, the good news is that our future is under our control. So depending on what we think 
and what thoughts we allow to de to develop in our own mind. So depending on the thinking that we do or the thoughts that we allow or the thoughts that we have, that will determine our future conditions. So again, it's not just one thought. Yes, I want a Ferrari in the driveway. And you keep thinking every day and event. You know, it's not, it's not like that. It's more like um, from moment to moment, if you monitor the way you're thinking. And so it's a bit like you're not trying to pretend that everything is wonderful and that yes you already have a Ferrari in the driveway when you walk out the front door and there's no Ferrari there so we're not pretending and we're not keeping our fingers crossed it's more we're monitoring the kind of thinking that we do and the thoughts that we have so if we have a, have a particular thought and then we assess it so the idea is you have a thought and you say do I want what this thought is going to produce? And if you want it, you keep thinking it. But if you don't want it, you stop thinking it. In the same way that six months ago when somebody said something and you had a chance for revenge, you say to yourself, do I really want, do I really want revenge? Ah, forget it. So that you don't inject revengefulness into the relationship. So you're not faced with hostility and hate six months or later, right? So in the same way, if you get into the habit of monitoring and assessing what you're thinking as you go as, as you go from moment to moment, then you choose to develop harmony and thoughts of friendship and thoughts of forgiveness or whatever it happens to be depending on the circumstance or the condition you're thinking about so you choose to do, you choose what kind of thoughts you're going to allow to enter to make themselves at home in your own thinking and in your own mind and by being careful and selective in the thoughts that you think recognizing that the, the seeds that you plant will turn into a particular kind of outcome. And if you don't want the outcome, don't plant the seed. So that it's a bit like moment by moment, from moment to moment, you monitor and are aware of your thoughts. You don't beat yourself up and think you're an idiot for thinking like that. You think to yourself, okay, this thought that I'm an idiot, do I want to encourage it? No. Okay. And maybe you do that five, four, three, two, one exercise. You count backwards from five to get back to a state of harmony and then you move on. And next time you think I'm an idiot, you think, am I really an idiot? Do I want to be like an idiot in the future? No. Okay. Well, I'm leave that I'm an idiot thought somewhere else. Okay, so I'm going to leave it in the corner and, and go out the room. So you leave it behind. And if we can monitor our thinking and be selective and careful about what we think, then our future is really quite desirable. Okay. I'm not sure. So if you have comments or questions or follow-ups, let me know and we'll put it at a site that is almost ready and I'll tell you about it in a couple of days. I want to put some more content there before I tell you about it. But the other thing is, um, if in the light of what people suggested a few weeks ago or a couple of weeks ago in their videos, if, okay, I have Skype. I've never done a Skype video call. I've never recorded a Skype video call. I'm happy to do it. So I need to learn how to do it. So if you want to participate in doing a Skype video conversation about the tarot and I record it and put it on this channel or put it somewhere, send me an email and we'll take it from there. I don't have the software. I don't, I've never done a video with Skype. So 
there may be a little bit of, of back and forth and practice till I get the hang of it. If you already know what to do, let me know. Otherwise, if you want to participate, send me an email and we'll talk about the tarot and put it on the channel. That's it for the moment. Thank you very much. If I don't have a video tomorrow, there'll be one on Tuesday, the 1st of August. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.